Hello, Paso. You November me. I'm your host, Ricky Saias. We're slowly trotting through November, and we have so much cooked up on this edition of Your City in Five. What do you say we get started? There's something to celebrate when it comes to recycling in the Sun City. The Environmental Services Department says El Paso has reached a milestone, reaching the lowest ever recycling contamination rate of 20%. That's well below the national average of 25%. You may be asking yourself, what does recycling contamination even mean? Well, it's a phrase used in the recycling industry, but in simple terms, things like a diaper, pizza boxes, or glass, those items do not belong in the recycling bin because they contaminate items Items that can be recycled. So that means that um, there's a cost associated to that and by us reducing the contamination rate we reduce the cost of paying for disposal of the trash that's in our recycling bins. So it's huge huge accomplishment but overall it tells us that the citizens are responding to our campaign. The recycling ride, they're putting what's supposed to be in the blue bin, they're putting it on there. So it's great news for ours for our staff that what they're doing is working. Keep up the good work El Paso. Remember to use the blue bin, flatten all cardboard boxes, and do not bag recyclables. Get all the tips on how to make a difference at ElPasoTexas.gov slash recycling or call the number on your screen 915-212-6000. A total of seven significant infrastructure projects will soon be launched at the El Paso International Airport. El Paso received federal grants thanks to the collaboration of Congresswoman Veronica Escobar and the Federal Aviation Association. The taxiway, rental car center, master plan, short-term parking lot, terminal, and other areas are part of these projects. The goal is to continue enhancing safety and passenger experience at the airport. The city's communications team is proudly showcasing new hardware at City Hall. The team that includes City TV won a total of six awards from the Texas Association of Telecommunications Officers and Advisors, also known as TOA. The organization recognizes municipalities across the state in video storytelling excellence. There's media specialist Nigel Sherman and Mario Ramirez holding the six awards that include the 2023 Dia de los Muertos Festival, the Flow Exhibit at La Nube Children's Museum, the Elf on the Shelf episodes, and the video you're watching now, Your City in Five. Congratulations to the communications team, but more importantly, thank you to you, our loyal viewers, the customers of the city of El Paso, for watching these videos that make a difference in our community. There are benefits to supporting and shopping at local businesses. The city of El Paso and the Better Business Bureau revitalized the Buy El Paso program that rewards customers for shopping at local businesses. Rewards for customers now include 5% cash back to use towards future shopping at participating locations. So we're heading into the holidays. As you're thinking about those holiday presents, those gatherings, we encourage everybody to shop local, buy local, and love El Paso. Customers can download the Open Rewards app on their smartphone. Buy El Paso is open to all businesses in the city. More info is posted at buyep.org. Before the holidays and get-togethers begin, protect yourself and your loved ones by getting a flu shot. Free vaccines are available at drive through events. There's one at Abundant Church on Saturday, November 16th from 8 a.m. to noon. That's at 1000 Valley Crest. Can't make it to that one? Well, swing by on Saturday, November 23rd from 8 to 11 in the morning at the Isleta Independent School school district facility on Sims Drive. Flu shots are free, no need to make an appointment either. More information is posted at bepowerflu.com. Brr, the temperatures are dropping and if you're cold, your pets are too. Keep them cozy and safe this winter with these tips from Animal Services. Bring pets indoors at night. If they must stay outside, make sure they have proper shelter and water. Watch out for chemicals, antifreeze and de-icing products are toxic to pets. Keep them stored and contact a veterinarian immediately if any is ingested. Tap the hood of your car before you drive. Cats often seek warmth under car hoods, so give a tap or honk to keep them safe. And clear outdoor food. After feeding, remove any leftover food to avoid attracting wildlife and check your yard for critters before letting pets out. These tips and more are posted at ElPasoAnimalServices.org. Winterfest has been nominated for a spot on USA Today's top 10 holiday markets and festivals in the nation. The national publication compiled the list of the top festivals in the nation and is letting readers vote for their favorite. You can vote by Googling USA Today at El Paso Winterfest. The link is also posted on the city's social media sites. You can vote once a day until voting ends on December 2nd. 
The winner will be announced on December 6th. Preparations for this year's Winterfest, by the way, are already underway. The ice skating rink at the convention center is almost complete. Crews are also installing the holiday tree and oversized decorations and adding more lights. Winterfest starts on Saturday, November 23rd at noon with ice skating, the holiday market, followed by the tree lighting ceremony and the Sherlegate Lights Parade at 6. Did I mention the Winterfest food truck village? Well, five food trucks are serving up a variety of holiday treats and delicious food every single day during the six weeks of Winterfest. A few people actually had a chance to taste the food before the launch of the season. And on the next edition of Your City in Five, we'll tell you all you need to know about the coolest fest in the Southwest. The annual gift giving tree is back. It's a chance to put a smile on a child, senior resident, or veteran by getting them a gift from their wish list. All you have to do is scan that code on your screen and select the person from the list. Get the gift, wrap it, and drop it off at City Hall or any of the fire stations on your screen. Gifts can also be purchased for our furry friends, but those don't need to be wrapped. For more info, go ahead and scan that code or call 915-212-1685. The gift giving tree is organized by the city's community and human development department. Looks like we're out of time on this edition of Your City in Five. For Mario Ramirez, who's behind the camera, I'm Ricky Saias. Stay safe and please be good to each other. We'll see you next time on Your City in Five.